I didn't realize this is my 30-year anniversary, so I'm a little bit surprised, but here I am. Uh, you're still, you can still work after 30 years graduating from Haas. Um, so I was an engineer, I was a salesperson, I was a marketing person, I was, worked for a couple of startups, I started a little business, ended up at Deloitte, and somehow at the end of 30 years, I ended up became, becoming an expert in HR. And so what I'm gonna do for five minutes and tell you that is just about everything you've learned about management is wrong and it's changed. Um, and I'm just gonna give you a couple of ideas why. And the theme of this is something that uh, we produced a big report on uh, just a couple weeks ago called the rise of the individual in the future in the new world of work. And the problem and what's happened, and most of you know this, is that technology has advanced at a near linear rate and we as individuals, as consumers, as human beings have adapted to this technology. Walk down the street in San Francisco and you can see everybody talking on their phone, the way we use Facebook, the way we use text messaging, the way we use our technology, but organizations have not kept up. For those of you that work in big companies or if any of you happen to work in HR like the people I talk to, you know we're, we're really burdened with 20-year-old ideas on how we do performance management and recruiting and, pro and pro pro uh, promote people and how we pay people. And the issues of gender diversity and, and inclusion uh, that Kelly was talking about are really you know, sort of big problems in organizations. And organiza the organization curve is not bending up fast enough. And worse than that, behind that is all the public policy problems that are holding us back. And one of the indications that this is a problem from all the research that I've done, and I was just listening to Andy Rose earlier um, about what's going on in the economy, is that, it, is that even though we're in a huge economic growth, we have all these no wonderful technologies, all these tools, business productivity is not growing at the rate it has in the last decade. And in fact, in Q4 of 2017, US productivity grew by around zero. And I think the reason for that is we have not reorganized and redesigned our organizations to take advantage of this um, highly agile, highly connected, highly empowered world we live in. And the way I like to think about it is the way organizations work today, we are not companies anymore, we are collections of individuals. And every individual has power and authority and opportunity to change and create value in organizations like never before. If I go back and I look at the HR practices that I talk to companies about in my research over the years, it's mostly about ranking and rating and evaluating people and deciding who's above who and who's below who. And all of that sort of has to go away and we have to create really more of a sense of trust and um, empowerment of everyone. Now, one more um, topic that's affected that is the social environment. And I think this data is extremely important, especially for those of you here in Berkeley. Um, if you look at the trust, that we really have a global crisis in trust around the world in the Element Trust Index, which is a very large study that Element's been doing for uh, maybe about a decade, shows that, um, and you can see the data here, that around the world, um, around only a quarter of people in most countries trust their, their, uh, their governmental institutions. And they trust their businesses not so much more, but more. And so what this do has done is it's really forced business executives, line leaders, managers, all of you, to take on a much larger role as a sense of conscious or a citizenship role in organizations. And we call this the social enterprise. And I um, am currently you know, working for Deloitte, which is a very conservative company. And as you know, it's an accounting firm and a tax and audit firm, a consulting firm. And we were writing this research and talking about it. We realized by looking at the data that the importance of taking care of individuals inside your company and outside your company has now become paramount. And it's even more important than ever because we're in an economic environment where the unemployment rate is, you know, I think, 4% or less, it's getting very hard to hire people. People will not come and work for your company unless they feel that you have a, a, a gr the right place in society. And so the issues of longevity, uh, at, at honoring people that are older in their careers, diversity, inclusion, uh, fairness, uh, giving people better and more agile careers, taking better care of the data that we have about people in organizations, and being a positive impact on society inside and outside the company are now paramount in business. And that's really what I'm here to talk to you about, for, and I just ran out of time for five <laughs> minutes, <laughs> is 
why each of you and all of the people in your organizations have so much power that if you empower them, your companies will succeed. Thank you very much.